Well, 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 some interesting news from The Lion King, uh, the critical reception so far after the, after the early screenings. Um, yeah, 58%. That's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> incredible. Uh, this, is, this is the third in a row that the critics were not, a fa were not fans of the Disney remakes. First, uh, of course, with Dumbo at a whopping 46% and with Aladdin at 57 huh. So, Lion King, not that much better, huh? Well, you know, if you're just about as original as the original, then it would make sense. But it's not. It's a remake. <laughs> and also, there's not much you could do to really spice up the Lion King. It was already a perfect movie, so... Why change anything at all? In fact, why not just re-release the same damn thing? Why even bother going in and doing all this work with the new actors at all when you could just copy and paste the, <laughs> the original dialogue, the original recordings, the original music, and just slap on a new coat of paint? May as well <laughs> just do that. And I don't know if it's going to get too much better than here, uh, but... Let's just take a look at some of the things that these critics have been saying. Keep in mind, these are some of the same critics who think The Last Jedi is the best Star Wars movie, so let's just keep that in mind. Um, <laughs> I'll read one positive. Like, yes, this movie is a safari to the Shadowland, and it's just deep enough to give a cat who's come of age something to seek the, his teeth into. What about her teeth, huh? What about that? Sexist. <laughs> Faring off romantically to produce a legitimate heir to the throne is nice and all, but it's getting destroyed by the minions of your own venal ambition that's the real circle of life. That some very uh, interesting things <laughs> this person has to say about this movie. Um, another says, it hangs together... It hangs together better than the horrid live-action Aladdin remake that came out in May, but that's not saying much. Uh, most viewers will find this Lion King to be either eye candy or uncanny valley. Uh, there's so little in between. Yep, and someone at Variety... Uh, no, not Variety. Indie Wire. Uh, <laughs> I think that might be the same person. Yeah, no, it's not. That's It's the same person as down below. A well-rendered but creatively bankrupt self-portrait of a movie studio eating its own tail. Or sniffing its own farts, if you will. Um, so, here, th this person also says, uh, Disney's remake is a disastrous plunge into the Uncanny Valley, unfolding like the world's longest and least convincing deep fake. The new Lion King fatally misunderstands what once made Disney special. And this is coming from, you know, for me personally... Having these new and original uh, interpretations of stories have always been something, in at least in the Disney Renaissance, that made it fascinating, made people want to go watch it, because these are stories that people are familiar with, uh, but told in, in a different way, in a different narrative entirely. And then when you have things like you know a Tarzan live action, or you have a Dumbo, or an Aladdin, You'll at least get some human characters in there, but and some animals, but with the Lion King, it's just all animals, and who is going to be the one really emoting? That's another thing that uh, seems to be what the critics have all... This is what the consensus seems to be. First off, the, the visual's fantastic, uh, but the emotions of the characters aren't there because animals don't always show emotions, at least facial emotions, so being able to hit the beats that the original did and did so well, it's kind of hard to do in this in this way of filmmaking. So in a way, this movie was already set up for failure in that regard, and it's something that I've always, uh, that I, you know, immediately pointed out when I saw the the teaser back in November. I'm now Wow, November. That is, it feels like a while ago, but yeah, it's uh, something I've been saying throughout this whole marketing campaign that you know this is just a useless remake, probably the most useless of the Disney remakes. And I think by the time this comes out next week, I will be proven correct. Uh, you know, and it seems as though you, you may as well just watch the 1994 film, uh, I, at least to me, because it's a, it's a superior film. 
you, you get exactly the same story except told better and it's shorter so it gets straight bored and to the point a lot faster uh, and it's held it's a classic it's an absolute classic and taking a look at the box office it made 968 <laughs> 968 million dollars and yes I understand that also includes the 3d re-release but you know what that's fine it's fine it's still a great movie and a great watch and I would glad gladly uh, consider paying my money to see that movie in on the big screen because uh, I never got to when I was a kid I was a little too young to go to the movie theaters but um, I don't even know if I was even born yet <laughs> but you know just to see to see this and just to I mean, people are seeing right through Disney, and I understand that, you know, Dumbo didn't fare too well, uh, but Aladdin, people came out in droves to see, and people love that film a lot, you know, there's not as much of a fan base for Dumbo, and the same exact thing can be said for The Lion King, people are going to be coming out in droves because they love these films, also there's nothing else coming out this summer, it's <laughs> it's kind of bland and boring. I mean, I don't know what any of these movies are, but they seem to be faring very well with critics. But it's not a summer blockbuster. It's it's not something that people are going to go out um, in huge hives to go see, I don't think. I, I haven't even heard of these films. But you know what? That's just the world that we live in right now. It seems as, as though their creative bankruptcy is starting to bite them in the ass. And... Uh, I'm just noticing this every day, and this is another thing that I also noticed. Does anyone remember this gem of a film, the, the 1998 Psycho, how well that fared with audiences and critics alike? I mean, again, it's not a Lion King, but it is one of the greatest thrillers of all time, it's, uh, being an influencer of the slasher genre as well. Taking place in 1960, being groundbreaking as it was, Oh wait, that's this movie. <laughs> Whoops, huge mistake. And you see the huge differences between that and that, you know, in terms of a critic score and the audience score. Although I do think Aladdin being the exception, uh, because it was just new enough. Uh, I haven't seen it, but people thought it was new enough to where, and it told the story faithfully to where the purists weren't terribly upset and. Some people even prefer it to the original, and that's that's very telling. That's a, that's that's a, that was a surprise to me. That's a job well done, for sure. But I will say though, you know, Dumbo probably not the same for that. But with the Lion King, you're gonna get the money. You may, I mean, there's a high possibility because the first movie. This is something I was trying to get to earlier. That I slipped my mind. Uh, Nine hundred sixty-eight million dollars <laughs> worldwide. Uh, with the, the original, do you think, do you think, this is the question I'm going to pass off to everyone here, do you think it's going to make the same amount of money as the original, or do you think it's going to fall short? For me, because it's like close to that billion dollar mark, I can totally see that happening because it is The Lion King, and people have their nostalgia goggles ready to go, and about to take their kids to the theater. I know a lot of people who are going to go see this movie, and I'm just telling you, I, I might... You know, review it for the channel if uh, there's a way I can see it that won't uh, that won't uh, have me <laughs> giving that th th it's in a way that I can see it for free. Let's just put it that way. Um, I don't want to give Disney my money for something that I've already seen that I already own, and it, you know they they made their money for me a very long time ago, <laughs> back in the '90s. So that's that's what I have to say about that, and you know I'm not letting them get it again. You know, it was it was perfect as it was. You know, it's just this is a huge misstep, and I think this was a missed opportunity to possibly I don't know, maybe. And this is something from what I've heard uh, other people say as well. People don't like the fact that you know because they don't really emote too well, some of the musical sequences suffer as a result, and also the the characters, the, the voice acting, also suffers because the animals are just delivering just bland lines like the delivery i guess doesn't match the facial expressions and i noticed just listening to it that some people some of the 
voice actors sounded a little, the, the characters sounded a little weaker than they were in the original. Like, Scar sounded a little bit weaker when he says, uh, run away and never return. I guess it's a different Scar, but also maybe the character uh, design itself doesn't really allow for that. I am not entirely sure, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see just how much it, uh, it holds up. But so far, you, you may as well stick with the one that is on your that is in your VHS player that you forgot about, or break out uh, the Disney Vault and go watch it on DVD or Blu-ray, uh, the '94 version, because you're basically getting the same things but, uh, in a different package, I guess. Which could have been great, you know. Props to John Favreau for trying, but it doesn't look like that it's. It's not looking great so far, but we'll see. Let's see if the money's there. Let's see if the people are going to make it a bigger success than the original financially. Anyways, uh, I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you going to go see this film? Why or why not? And do you think it's going to make the same amount of money? Do you think the box office is going to be the same as the original? I have no idea, but we'll find out. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you all so much, and have a great day.